Hey friends, let's learn how to play Magic Touch by Kiss and we're tuned to E flat, so tune each string down a semitone and let's jump straight into it. So play the open E and then the E minor chord, just a D, G and B string and then the 7th fret D, G and B, back to the E minor and then play the B flat slide up to B, A two times and then C slide up to D, C two times and then D slide up to E and D two times and then just play the E string 7, A string 5, 7 and we do that two times for the intro and that's also the chorus, let's play that now and just do that two times for the intro then we have our verse, let's jump into that we're going to play the open E string again, E minor two par mutes on the E string and then just 7th fret A, D and G back to the E minor and we do that three times go D, slide back to C play C again and then just arpeggio pick the B, G, D and the A then go back to 2nd fret A and arpeggio pick the B and the G on the 5th fret then play the C again, arpeggio pick the B string 5th fret and then play C, slide up to D then we repeat that all again now this time instead of going back to the 2 we go to the 5 on the A string play 7, 7, D and G and then just play the E chord and then we just do a slide there and that's our verse, let's do that up to speed pre-chorus we just play the A minor and then arpeggio pick E, B, G, D then do a D sus 2 arpeggio pick E, B, G, D then go to an E power chord and do that for two bars just palm muting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and then repeat that A minor again D sus 2 now we go to the E, we're just going to play 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 on the A string, slide up to 7 and then play 7, 5, 3 and then on the E string, 7, 5, 3, open then repeat the first one again, A minor B sus 2, our E and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and and then to finish that off, A minor, arpeggio pick the D sus2, now just arpeggio pick the E and the B and then play our little fill 757 7. and that's our pre-chorus here, let's play that up to speed pre-chorus and we have this little solo fill when we're chugging along on the E we're just going to bend the 2nd fret on the G and then play 2nd fret, pull off to the open back to 2nd fret and then from there we go back to our chorus again which is our intro, our verse we do exactly the same and then our pre-chorus we do exactly the same and then we have our next chorus which changes a little bit so let's try that so then our next chorus is exactly the same, we play it through two times except the end, instead of playing 7-5-7 seven, seven, right at the end we're going to play 7-E-5-A e, and then do our little run down, 7-7-5-3 seven, seven, and the E-7-5-3, seven, so we do that chorus for you there. we go 
uh, our solo rhythm and we'll look at our solo at the end. We just play our C, slide up to D, back to C. D to E, back to D. And then do that same run again. 7-5, 7-7-5-3, seven, 7-5-3. Five, seven, seven, five, three, seven, five, three. Do that two times and then just finish on the C to D, back to C. D to E, back to D. And that's our solo rhythm there. Let's play that. And then from there we have our clean guitar. Let's have a look at that. So for our bridge, we're going to start on a G chord. We're going to pick the E string. B, G, E, B, G, back to B. And that picking pattern stays the same all the way. It's going to be the root note that changes. To D, so open D and then picking pattern stays the same. C, third fret on the A, picking pattern stays the same. Then we're going to go to the second fret on the A and just the third fret on the B, so we'll have an open G and an open E. Now we're going back to the G, but we're going to play the second fret on the D. Back to the D. And then just finish on C, and just one strum, and then we're going to do a heavy guitar there. So let me do that up to speed for you. to finish that off we're just going to play the C to D again back to C D to E do our little run 7 5 7 play the open E string and then do the harmonic on the 12th fret B E so that last little part Then from there we have our verse again, we do that the same. Then the pre-chorus, we just do the last part of it. Our B. Back to our A minor. Our D sus2. And the E and the B string and then our little run. And that's our pre-chorus here. From there we go back to the chorus and we do that all exactly the same. And then we have this little outro chorus. Let's look at that. So we're going to have the open E, the E minor, two palm mutes on the E, and then the 7, A, D, and G, and then do our little run down, 7, 7, 5, 3, E string, 7, 5, 3, and then our C up to D, back to C, D up to E, back to D, and then our little run, 7, 5, 7, and we just keep repeating that to the end. So. Have a look at the solo. So we have 14 on the G, 15 on the B, do the bend on the 14. G, 14, pull off the 12 to D, 14 two times. G, 12, B, 10. 12, pull off the 10, back to 12. G, 10 on the B, bend. 12 on the G, back to B, 10. 12, pull off the 10, 12 on the G. Do a bend on 15 on the B, and then 15, pull off to 12, 14 G, back to the B, 12 E, 15, do a bend and then play 15, 12, hammer on to 15, pull off to 12, B, 15, and then we're playing E, 12, bend on the B, 15, E, B, E, B, E, B. Then come up to 18 on the B and play 15 on the E, bend, and then 15, 18, 15, 18, and then come up to 17 on the E, 20 on the B, twice with the bend, and then just bend on 20 on the B, E, 17, 19, back to B, 20, and that's our solo there. Let's do that one more time up to speed. And 
and then we have our outro solo, B, 15, and then we're jumping up to E, 17, 15, 14, back to B, 15, bend, 15, bend, and we just keep repeating that. And that's our outro solo there, and they're all the guitar parts. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.